He's basically referring to us because right, he did so say how long have we been here. We're recording here. already. Um, so yeah, just talk about the park. I mean, how long has it been here? How long have you guys been skiing? Blah, 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 blah. You want to go first? No, you can't. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, the park's been here for like about two years? Two and a half. Two, two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. The grand opening was sick. Like, too many people to skate. There was a bunch of like skate shops. <laughs> they were just doing demos and... It was insane, like, no one could, like, skate, <laughs> like, it was just all the, like, sh the skate shops, like, the team, they were just skating, and so no one could do anything, or we were just watching them. I mean, there was kids, like, sneaking in and out of, like, the, their, like, demo, <laughs> so it kind of sucked for them, yeah, and, yeah, it's been pretty sick since then. I haven't been, I, like, there, have you been there, like, before, like, it was, like, actually open? The grand opening? No, before the grand opening, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. Things too sour. <laughs> like, uh, before it was like just wood and stuff and everyone would try to sneak in and just like try to like skate the spots there that, that were actually like made. So that was like, that was pretty fun. But it would always like kick you out like, it ain't ready. Like, oh, we know it's not ready. <laughs> we just want to <laughs> skate it already. Like they turned the AC down, and I didn't really tear it down. They just like shut it down, and like people would like just try and go in there. And a lot of people like redid it because it was just bad. Like it was just a bunch of like uh, what is it tarp? Is it like black tarp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a bunch of like screws like just sticking out, and like people would just be dying on it. <laughs> it sucked. Like some kid got his like a screw in his wheel, and all he was like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> it sucked for him. He like, kept like falling because he didn't know what was wrong with his wheel. Like <laughs> he was just so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the first time I saw the skate park, I was like, "Damn, it's about fucking time <laughs> they created a skate park." Cause I've always been skating street and all that. Cause like they never had a skate park here, and we'd always get kicked out of AC if you remember that. Mm -hmm. And uh. The six stair, we'd get kicked off of that, or like that four stair, just, the parking garage. Yeah, just spots on spots on like the weekdays. There was yeah, just, uh, of course. We'd like always get kicked days. out of everything, and then like, finally, the gods heard us, and they were like, <laughs> "We want to make, we we're gonna make a skate park now." And, like too many kids are being fucking, yeah, arrested, <laughs> yeah. and getting tickets for some bullshit. Yeah, it's stupid. Like how they had like Sydney ordinance, like and it had the signs everywhere, like no skateboarding in town. You you get ticketed. And then, wow. And then, uh, what is it? When I first saw it, I was like, hmm, this looks like a skate park. I could skate. Because it was like, because like there's small stuff. There's really small stuff there. Yeah. Like, you got the small ass quarter. You got the small china. You got the, uh, the wall. I guess that's me. The euro is pretty big. I mean, I've seen a small euro. But it's, it's like fun. Cause, like, yeah. And then you got like a small ledge and then like a bigger ledge for when you get better. The four like, stair. Yeah, the four stair. Eight, but like everyone goes downtown to like try and skate like yeah. the other ones. And then you got like the more advanced stuff, like the eight, the eight <laughs> rail. And the, big the, old, the extension, uh, the big old hubba, yeah, uh, and it, yeah, and that thing's <laughs> fat. <laughs> too huge. Yeah, it's like I guess that's a place really for right. for you to get and like become a beginner and like I guess go from beginning to, to at least sponsorship or something. Like get on like a shop or something. Yeah, get you enough good to that. But now nah, that hub is huge, man. Yeah. Only like a couple people have done it so far. Yeah, <laughs> maybe like four. I've only three. seen one person do it. Jesse, Christian. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. So where did you guys use to skate before the skate park? I mean, street, AC, and I used to go to like uh, other towns, like because well, I used to have homies, like in other little small towns. Well, tell us more about like what does AC stand for? Where it was located? What was it like? It was a recreational center. It wasn't just. It was a skate park. It was an activity yeah, center. Activity it center. had like yeah. it was basically like this, except it didn't have a water park. It had a basketball court inside, inside and then it had like a bunch of like things for people like kids to go during yeah. the summer like like they had games in there and then there's a boxing gym up top mm -hmm. yeah and uh cool. it had like like little like rooms for you to play like like tennis or something yeah or yeah like wall like wall ball or something like that and then the skate park was outside of all things yeah and they had games in there and like yeah. they had like this cool like those those cool chairs made out of boards oh, that was tight honestly the best part about the uh about ac was uh probably the half pipe because we don't yeah. have a half pipe here yeah, but that half pipe, like the coping stuck out. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. Uh, but it was really, like the on the wall, like they have it in in town uh, still, and it, it's called Mike's Ledge, like for him too. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, it's like a pretty, like like sick, like little graphic on there. And 
Yeah, I mean, but it was kind of like, I mean, it was fun because we had nowhere to skate when you'd get kicked out, you know? Yeah. But when, it's like, yeah. But when, when it, you skate there, like, too much, like, the the black tarp gets to you, like, on a hot-ass day, like, just falling and not being able to slide, like, at the park, you just, like, stick <laughs> and just, just, <laughs> and just like, just it's bad like burn. Carpet burn. Oh, yeah, it's a bad burn, man. It sucks. Mm. Oh, what is it? Yeah. I, st- I first started skating there. I didn't know about that until uh, I got in the skate class in school because they took us to there. Oh, yeah. And I was like, shit. <laughs> I've never never been to a skate park, so. Because that was my first skate park I've been to. Really? <laughs> yeah. And uh, what is it? I didn't even know how to drop in at the time. That's when I first started <laughs> skating, when I was a freshman. And, uh, yeah, uh, my coach called me a pussy for for, <laughs> yeah. for not dropping in and shit. And I was like, damn, all right. So I finally dropped in, and he was like, <laughs> All right, respect. UI. You respect. UI. You got to give me respect. And then uh, the years go by. I'm up to senior. Then I get in the skate class. He's like, UI. Yeah. And I'm like, good thing it's coach. That's, yeah, and like since they Because once I got to senior year, this is that's when the skate park opened up. Yeah, and they finally got like a skate, like actual, take us to the park. Because before they would like, like they would be in like the... I know, parking lot. Yeah, area. there you go. And just be skating flat all the time. And then once I got out of school, I was just like, fuck it. I'm out of school, <laughs> skate every day. I mean, I still work, but when Un- I'm not working, I skate. That's pretty much it. Unemployed it over you. here. <laughs> nah, feeling grad. Nah, but uh, other than the AC, like, street spots were, they were fun around here. But after, like, this, like, like the AC got torn down like everyone would just go and be getting kicked out and like yeah do those they was like they didn't want to like they had stopped like giving tickets for a while but then they started to and like then they like realized like there's a park coming soon we should just like be like wait and just wait till they were like telling us wait there's gonna be a park soon and I wasn't actually here for like when they broke ground but like some people at the park were here and they were like there it was in the newspaper they were like breaking ground for the skate park and like they had like a shovels and just everyone was just there and like <laughs> digging already. It, like they were going all crazy, like build the damn skate park, we'll help you. Honestly what would would have uh topped that skate park off is if they had a a bow or a half pipe. Yeah. But I mean it's nice. Like, yeah, it's, it's nice. Like, now that we actually have something to come. Yeah. Like if you ever get get kicked out of a spot around like, here. Like to get some air, dude. You know <laughs> there's grass to air in, let's just say that. That's basically all the air you get. But no, it's nice man it's, it's like nice like really i don't know big i guess i mean it's not that big but it's a nice size like, mm-hmm. it's bigger than ac for sure oh yeah did, did you sure. guys go to any of the meetings when they were talking about building the park or what designs they wanted to shoot you guys or no not, oh well i mean i didn't go but there was there was a lot of people that i knew that went and especially this one guy uh, his name is cameron he's in my great no. He's a new no. He's, he's a, a sophomore. He's bro. a sophomore. Yeah, he looked old. <laughs> but yeah, he would always be asking like around like when we would be skating in a street spot with him or something. He'd be like, "What do y'all think we should do for the park?" And he'd have like this. He had like a paper and he'd write it down all the time. And he was like, he write their names by it. And like so we can like they'd like he like tell them and give them ideas and they gave him a board I believe on the grand opening. They like because he was like really like helping them a lot and I was I mean I should have been helping like you know giving ideas and stuff but I was just skating all the time when like at street because nowhere else to go but then at that time we went like other places yeah um it like came to that like we had to go to other places <laughs> unless like you had to go to like spots like that like on the edge of Seguin but so I've then, never been to Tits Steak, though. <laughs> so how is it just traveling around here? How the roads, high walks, is it pretty easy? Or is no, it... they fucking suck. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, like, no, the new, no. The, okay, the yeah, new, they're, they're new rebuilding sidewalk. roads. They're rebuilding roads. Yeah. Like, they made the sidewalk from uh, yeah. going from town all the way to the skate park. And yeah. That's a pretty long sidewalk. Like, that's and it really keeps long. going. Like, it keeps going. Yeah. yeah, it keeps going all the way up there to the highway, to I-10. And, uh... But they rebuilt some streets where I like I used to live because I like moved to yeah. like, another spot. But, uh, but like in town, they're they're like reconstructing roads. They're making them yeah, smoother. they're real smoother. You know? Yeah, 
fun. Like the the sidewalks are like much more space. Like so you can actually like if we skate, we won't get like almost hit by a car or something. Other than that, other than those reconstructions, the roads kind of suck. No, oh, like, like okay, they, they there's really a, okay. I mean, the ones that maybe you live on over there. You just, right, I live out there. I, I don't know. You live over here. I live out there. I live on no, shitty right. roads. In town, though, in town, like they're they're doing the streets. Like and it's pretty yeah. nice. They're like they're trying to rebuild everything and not tear down the old stuff, but like kind of like I mean, I, like rebuild some things and leave them the old stuff there. But for I like mean, history. But as far as being, uh, I mean, skaters and trying to skate the spot or skate around, how do you feel safe on the roads, or do you feel, you know, open to target for cars? Or? Well, it honestly, like, it depends, like, where you're at right now. Like, it depends it, if you from, have headphones in. Okay, <laughs> that too. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, leave one out. <laughs> There's some dude. Yeah. Uh, but if you're like, for me, when I'm coming from, when I like come from my place to the park. I got like kind of like small streets like this street that it's like right here it it's kind of like small like there's no pl like there's no sidewalks on there so you gotta walk in the grass or if there's no cars coming you just gotta like book it and just, <laughs> just, just haul the ass down and then just wait till another car comes and then just get out the way or go on to the other side <laughs> is there anything you'd like to see the city do as far as building more roads like sidewalks or you know, more skate spots. <laughs> yeah, <skate laughs> but, uh. Or anything you hope they, they can accomplish or adapt to? Oh, well, like. Maybe, like. Honestly, I think they should build sidewalks everywhere you go, basically. Yeah, basically. Especially yeah. in town. There's no sidewalks are so shitty. They have fucking cracks. I mean, they have, they like, have cracks everywhere, bro. They kind of, like. I mean, not saying they didn't do a good job, but they, like, made, like, a. You know, the whole, like, bike trail. Mm -hmm. thing but like i mean I, I use that too even though it's not for a bike but <laughs> oh, okay um was it, have you uh have you two guys thought about like uh since like well let, let, let me say this for since like san marcos austin san antonio experienced like a booming population have you guys kind of looked around and thought about like i guess worried about seguin might blow up too big too soon or, or yeah, with that, with the new high school, I mean. Yeah, the new yeah, high with school. Those new high school. I don't go to high school anymore. Yeah, but with for the new sure. High school, that thing's gonna be big, and people are gonna start transferring over here. And like, I mean, the skate park like got like, I mean, of course, in the summer it's always like, like packed. Everyone's always here, of course, and like, there's always new kids coming skating, and of course, little kids, but they're like learning, of course, which I mean, that's what the park's for. But sometimes they're snakes. <laughs> 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 but uh <laughs> no it's good i think like it'll be it'll be big here in seeing someday like i mean it is big already like there's a, a big old group of skaters in town yeah like, opposite uh, yeah that's that's a big big thing here opposite. Yeah. with that do you do you feel like since the roads aren't where they should be like traffic will be bad or do you think you know new housing developments might just kind of ruin certain parts of seguin or well I mean, honestly, maybe, like honestly, I don't think that they're gonna build more house areas around here, cause, cause the skate park is around the hood area. Let's just say that <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. around the hood. But it's and then, like you got out. more, you got Sorry. they're building like more apartment complexes yeah, over there in downtown. Yeah, downtown. Yeah, they're they're like I was saying, like they were reconstructing like the old places, but they like have some places still there, and like some, like some of Seguin's history, everywhere, and they've like put up. Like little, like I guess, like I don't know what they put up. Burial, like, site, burial sites, right? Yeah, and they like have like little things for you to read, and I don't know. They've made the new library. <laughs> yeah, they did nice. make a new library. That's nice. I'm not that's sure what they're gonna do with the old library, but yeah, I don't know, it's just there. <laughs> uh, so tell us about the area then. If it's what makes it. The... Oh well, man, they've had some problems here. And oh like, yeah, I've man. seen lots of shootings here. I've seen. I have. I've been. Been, I've did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he dips. <laughs> I usually just stand there and watch, just but like all the way in the dark behind the trees, and I'm just like, hmm. No, uh, just they like, okay. I've seen lots of fights here. It went to like, that. now it's not as bad, but there's like, there was like a time where, uh, of course, I think it was the summer, where like, um, you know, like everyone thought the skate park was like the place to come and like smoke and chill and like maybe do other things, but. <laughs> No, not to text. Like, oh, I have like coke. So. Oh, wait, wait what? <laughs> I guess if there's something, I don't know, man. Mm. <laughs> uh, I guess I said other things, you know? Oh, I said yeah. that, my bad. But, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> <laughs> no, no, but there was a time where like there was just a bunch of people who didn't even skate, right? And the cops would come and they'd always be like, "We're looking for this person," and like. Not to be like racist or anything, <laughs> but like people sometimes look the same around here, and so they catch them and they'd be like, "Hey, are you even hit?" And so and so, and they'd be like, "No, well, you, this is the you look like him." <laughs> yeah, I've seen cops like, yeah drive onto the onto the skate park property and look for somebody. Yeah, they would just like be like not harassing, but like be like real like demanding about it, like not like approaching us like, "Hey, have you seen?" But other than that, I've never actually like, seen like actual like out of town skaters or anybody like get hurt here because like i guess people i guess people know like what and what not to do and stuff and like they don't they don't like challenge people or something or like get people mad but yeah i've never actually seen an out of, out of town or like actually get like it, into in, a like, fight here or something or trouble yeah, yeah. Be, but i mean there's there's been like some talking back to yeah, each other, yeah, and, and at the end been of talking it, like, since, stuff. like, we're, like, pretty chill here. People at the park, at least, at the skate park, are pretty chill, so, and we're just, like, become friends with them, and, like... I think it's honestly most because most of the people that come here are, like, hard stoners. <laughs> yes, I mean, And they're yeah, just always there, like, just chilling, honestly. and just, like... Yeah. I guess it's just, like, a chill area to go. I guess that's why a lot of people go there. Yeah, like, that's when, like, the the cops really started coming there. yeah yeah and they found out that like people would just come here just to smoke no but they don't that they don't even smoke in the skate park anymore they go in, in like the woods and stuff no yeah makes it better fire fire <laughs> yeah <laughs> so then why put the skate park here in the why do you think well, I mean, it is an open area. Yeah, yeah there, it was a, you should have seen it before. Yeah, there, it, was, it was nothing. It, it was, was just like tall, like grass, maybe tall like, trees. Yeah, grass. And, yeah. Like, all the, like this was never here. All this, all this was never here. Like all of this, all the way to down there, this was never here. It was just trees and stuff. Like yeah, it was basically started. like a forest. And I guess they just decided, like, hey, let's just take the biggest part and just take it out. Yeah. It was like a forest in the middle of town. Like nobody wants it. <laughs> As opposed to like putting it closer to the high school or downtown or? Nah, cause, cause most of the stuff near the high school, there's like stores and stuff. You got like, you got that, that little ass mall that they have, little crappy mall, I guess. Yeah. And then you got HEB, Walmart. I mean, I feel like it's a good distance, like from town. Yeah. And it's, it's not like that far. I mean, it takes like, not like a while, but it takes, all right. I mean, if you skate, you get here faster. Yeah. For sure. But it's not that far from the skate park. Yeah, yeah it, get, like, it, it takes like 10 minutes yeah. to get here if you skate. If you walk, it takes maybe 30. Yeah. Uh, but there's certain roads you can take that make to get here faster. Yeah, for sure. Do you guys want to talk about the PE class a little bit? Or? The PE class? The PE uh, class. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't know. I did not know anything about it when I got into high school. Like, when I had, like, they other there, like, my friend Connor was like, hey, there's, like, a skate, there's, like, a, a skate class. And he was like, I was like, what? He was like, yeah, you didn't even look into the book. I was like, I did it. <laughs> For all the courses, I was like, I did it. <laughs> and he just gave me something. And I was like real nervous about it. But uh, yeah, and then they, and I changed my schedule. And I was like, hey, like I thought honestly that we were gonna like stay somewhere in the, at the school and skate like flat or something, but no, we ended up like I got on the bus and we like drove out of like the school area and I was like, where are we going? I was like, oh wait, I was like, we asked someone, we're going to the park. They're like, yeah, we're going to the park. I was like, for real? <laughs> for real? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> we went, I mean, it's nice, but I was kind of bummed out about the helmet because I've never worn a helmet when I skated before. Yeah. It was like the first time I wore one. Like they just like they like handed me one. They're like, can't get off the bus with the helmet. I was like, okay. <laughs> I had the last one too, so it was a pink helmet. <laughs> I mean, I look That's why right. I sat in the front. I always sat. In the front. I sat right next to the helmets. Yeah, but it's it's actually a pretty cool thing. I mean, you don't just have to like. I mean, it's it's called a skate class, but you. Don't it's it's the easiest class in high school. Let's just say that I would recommend getting to that class if you ever go to Seguin. It's <laughs> the easiest class. All all you have to do is get on the board. If you stand there, you get a zero. Just get on the board, bro. Yeah, like, and then like sometimes you like I mean you would let they bring you know, like basketballs and like just like footballs to throw around and stuff because yeah. they have a court over there no that no that's that's for uh that's no. for outdoor class yeah okay i had that yeah, first thing because they, they, they're skate class and then there's that outdoor. Outdoor. 
But okay, with skate, skate class, class, it's different. You, like, have, you have to skate. You can't okay, sit so there. My, my junior year, I guess I did have elder ed. And in my senior year, I had it, like, first semester. Like, I had yeah, skate I had, class. I had there was a, no one, like, going to the courts anymore. <laughs> yeah. But um, Did they ever take you out to, like, New Braunfels or San Marcos? Or? Uh, um, before, when I was in eighth grade, uh, my friends told me that uh, at one point, the for their finals, they went to uh, they went to Jaws, New Braunfels. And uh, yeah, and they stopped doing that because we had got because they had gotten a new principal as soon as I entered high school, and I was like, "Fuck, now we can't go to Jaws." And yeah, like that new stupid that ass principal just blew everything, and that sucked. And like that was for the finals too, so you had a good hour to be there. Yeah, to like switch tray flip down uh, that seven. <laughs> what <laughs> for the finals? <laughs> you better get it before we leave. <laughs> no, you're, you get a zero. No, I don't know anything about that. But the fi- know, but the final that. for that class is like the easiest. I swear. Just like like I said, just get on a board, and just do new things. I mean, I guess I guess sometimes if you, like he sees that you're used to writing, like you got used to writing, he wants you to like go down ramps or something. Yeah, it's actually like that. pretty cool. And for, then like, like, other people. That don't skate. Yeah, like if you get into skate class, you're gonna skate. <laughs> oh, you're gonna fail. <laughs> you're gonna fail. Cause, cause PE does. You do need a PE credit to graduate. And that's the over easiest here in PE Yes, yes, it is the easiest. I mean, we could say it because we like skating and we really know how. But like, for other people, like it's easy. But yeah, I mean, I I remember uh, one of my friends. Uh, it was Cody. Like he he had skate class, right? And he did not know how to skate. But we like he learned. So like it was actually pretty good. Like he didn't. Ha- he was. Real stiff at first, you know, of course, you're like real stiff when you ride the board. But then like being here all the time and like being with everyone at the park, like all the chill people and people who actually like skate, like he ended up like learning like real good. And I mean, he barely comes around, but he actually like can move on his board like really nicely. Did it was off from like skate class. <laughs> Uh, so, but did they ever like go over like how a board is made or the history of skateboarding or is it just straight down the bus and just you know yeah. oh they're from they if you don't have a board they provide boards for you they're actual they're actual boards too like they have thunder trucks they have bones they, uh, they have I reds on them we okay we they didn't, have girl boards we didn't really go over, or okay we did go over the history but <laughs> the coach was real cool <laughs> he was like um he was like do y'all do y'all want to be like because that day like we were in side where we always meet like the eight hundred. Right, it's 800. 800. Like that build, that oh, building. the 800 wing? Yeah. Yeah. And like, uh, there's one building, and we'd meet, meet up in this one class that day, and he was like, okay. And, but everyone was acting up that day, so he got kind of like a little mad. But he said, it's like either we just talk about the skateboarding history, and y'all listen to me for this whole class. I've period. never done that before. Really? He, no. did it to, he did it for us, and that we was actually pretty interesting. Like, like, he made it real interesting. Like, or the people who skated at least liked it. <laughs> The other people just sat there and acted like they're listening. But he said either we sit here and like be quiet for y'all, be quiet for me, and y'all listen, and then we go to the park like the next day, and I won't make y'all take a quiz, but y'all just gotta remember it. We never took quizzes, really. Y'all yeah. took no, y'all we take quizzes. T- no, now? we only like he only did it one. He always went he went over it one time, but I think it was because it was raining and we did not go to the park, and we needed something for the end of it, like like the I don't know the end of the five weeks or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. He did it, which is like. Which is like cool, I guess, because I listen, but I mean, I kind of don't remember. <laughs> cool. Well, any, uh, I guess, last word or shout outs or anything? You know, uh, try to get free stuff from the companies? Or? Heck yeah, free stuff is awesome. Free yeah, ice cream, free obviously. Awesome, man. Uh, like, Let's see. Who's shout out? Homies of Seguin. Well, first of all, shout out to Thrasher, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thrasher. Um, shout out to people like who made the park and yeah especially yeah especially like especially the michael <laughs> michael <laughs> michael for sure man. michael thomas <laughs> and i don't know who that is but somebody shout out to my mom <laughs> yeah your mom <laughs> shout out to my mom hey mom uh, <laughs> i'll probably uh i'll probably show this to you <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> you probably be like this is it <laughs> get to, <talk. laughs> to shout me out Jeez. yeah pretty much I'm I'm still working on some more. Uh, I'm still working on some new clips, but I know eventually I'll get there. I'll Shout get out there. to the people who are gonna subscribe and like this video for sure. Of like, course, yeah, man. Of course, you and should definitely subscribe this. and check out my channel that I do not have. <laughs> check out check out mine, uh, Alex Lira. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, shout out. Just add me on Instagram under <laughs> e <laughs> underscore. <laughs>
skate it's, is it underscore no. oh it's not backwards okay <laughs> uh shout out like maybe I already said the homies, of course. <laughs> uh, nah, homies? The homies, like who? Opposite? Yeah, you go opposite. Opposite, Jesse People Ray, that, my cousin, opposite. of course. A little crew around here. Yeah. That I'm currently not in, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we just skate for fun, basically. Yeah, dude. Everyone's around here, so chill. Um, and that's all the words I got, because my mouth is dry and I'm thirsty. <laughs> well, yeah, that's it. <laughs>